Hey guys, Ash Fury here, welcome back. In this video, we are going to test the Shadow Dragon team. Now, this Shadow Dragon team, it's fun, it's really interesting, but I'm a bit sad because, yeah, GT team is not a Z tier type or an S tier type. From my point of view, these guys are falling behind and they just need some new, fresh fighters to make this tag strong again. But yeah, at this point, I think they're around tier 2 something like that but yeah this doesn't mean that we can play with them we can have fun with them especially at the start of the season now before we start i just want to show you some of some things from uh, extreme saint sharon blue this guy it's pretty strong and when we play this guy together with the other two shadow dragons then yeah this shadow dragon can be fun and um yeah you have you can have results with them what i want to show you is this unique ability and this unique ability it's pretty good as you can see there he increased GG tag uh, damage from the start. So as long as this guy is alive, then the all GT fighters are just stronger with plus 20% uh, damage inflicted. That's amazing. He restore key every time he enters the battle. And uh, if he plays, of course, with other Shadow Dragons, and every time he, he will face the science, then he will give other crazy buffs to his um, team members. That's amazing. That's pretty good. And that's why I'm looking forward to test this guy and the other shadow dragons in pvp all right guys let's find another opponent and yeah even if it's the beginning of the season i'm in ranking now 6500 so it's just the season just started and with battle rank 35 i'm yeah in a good ranking position okay let's find a new opponent now in this point we can find really strong opponents or yeah we can find accessible opponents i hope to find a strong opponent and really test my shadow dragon team and uh, yeah, along the way to have fun with them because this is what PvP, PvP it can be stressful. I'm remembering last season, I, I was so stressful at the end because I didn't know I have enough points. I would start losing, then winning and it's bad, it's bad. So it's really, very stressful. That's why uh, it's good. At the beginning of the season, we can relax, we can have fun. We can try different things, different fighters. And uh, yeah, who knows, maybe we find a perfect team or a team that really it's on our style and we can, when we play it, then we are playing at our best. Now, I don't know what to say about the Shadow Dragons team. I was always a fan of GT team, but unfortunately GT team has something that it's missing. Now, from my point of view, GT team is just a tier two team. So we have Z, S, one and two, because yeah, it's pretty bad. We have some sustained damage cards, we have some buff, they buff each other, but it's just not enough or not as strong as God's Key or Fusion Warrior or some family, Zenkai some family or whatever. But yeah, let's take this. Uh, now, this is another God's Key team match and it's pretty good. We have Champa there at two stars, so this guy just put this uh, Champa new character. And um, yeah, I, I don't know how strong Champa is because I didn't use my crystal to for, for these summons. And um, I'm looking forward to see him in action. Hope, uh, hopefully he will pick him. Okay, so selecting our Shadow Dragons and let's start. Now, my opponent's team, it's interesting. It's not the best God's Key team. But yeah, with Champa there, who knows? Who knows how strong he is? I'm hoping to pull him also and uh, have the opportunity to test him. Him and Vados as well. But let's get started and remember Extreme Blue Sin Sharon must stay alive because the other dragons are just stronger afterwards. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's dash forward and make him use his vanishing. I had the same, okay, dash back, avoid, wait. No, he attacked directly, that's pretty good. Now, that Beerus there is blocking my, uh, using my ability, my main ability, and yeah, that can be really annoying. Okay, both of us can play the same trick, and now, Okay, so we are just punching each other, fine. Let's see how you dodge this. You can't dodge this. I will use his main ability now to buff the other dragons. Yeah, I, I was, uh, I thought he was going to tap punch me, but yeah, it's okay. Now, Sinsharan can take this damage. Oh, and he took my cards away. Where are my Dragon Balls? <laughs> okay, let's... Add there some debuffs. You see the debuffs that Sin Shenron added there? Those are pretty, pretty useful. Ooh, cancel attribute upgrades. He took away my Dragon Balls. This Champa is pretty good. Now, that was a good bait, and it's time to return the favor a little bit. So, 
I will just use Rising Rush in Extreme um, Extreme Sin Sharon. I was expecting him to bring Beerus because of the color advantage. And now if he guesses my card, it's fine. Doesn't matter. No, he didn't. And the damage will be enough to kill Beerus. I think the other Shadow Dragon, yeah, definitely. So it was a risk, but it was worth it. Three versus two, the fight continues. Yeah, tap punch me, tap punch me, yeah. Tap punch me. I will tap punch you also. And now, this cannot be avoided. Ooh. <laughs> so it's good when you are fighting with the strategy. Definitely, it's very good to have a strategy, but not always use the same trick. Because, yeah, bad things can happen. I can read your movements afterwards. Just move, yeah. And he forfeited the match. Okay. Okay, it was cute. It was cute. And I was saying uh, just at the end, um, it's fine if you are using some tricks in PvP. And now PvP is just about using tricks, baits, avoiding attack, and then using your opponent's mistake against him. But not doing the same thing all over. Because, yeah, I knew that he's going to tap punch me. And, uh, yeah, I just took the opportunity and um, finished his, uh, his fighters. But, yeah, Shadow Dragon's team, it's fun. Yeah, okay, that was a good start. It, at the time I'm recording this video, I don't have Vados. Now, I'm going to do a little bit later on uh, some summons. And hopefully I will pull her and also Champa because, yeah, I want all the new fighters. But... Now, I don't know, so it's the first time I actually see Vados in, uh, in Legends. Woo. Okay, let's intercept this damage with Sin Sharon, and yeah, Sin Sharon is a tank. It's definitely a tank, he can take some damage. Even if he has color disadvantage. Woo. He took exactly the card I was about to use. <laughs> That's so bad. Okay, transform to Kaioken. Now things are pretty spicy, are pretty interesting. Let's focus here a little bit. Yeah, I can still take a few hits. That was bad. Let's try to bait him now, because since Sharon lost, lost his ability, he restored his gauge there. Okay, fine. Okay, bad. Good. Let's bring... Omega Shadow now and deliver everything. One. You know what? I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm just going to use this. Oh, he got me there. How? Hmm. Probably he could dodge because I used that green card. It's fine. It's fine. Doesn't matter. It's same result. So this will definitely hurt him. Now even if he managed to switch with black, still this hurts and will also inflict damage on the other team members. Yeah. That was a lot of damage. Pretty good. No? No, 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 no. So you missed, I missed my Rising Rush. He missed his Rising Rush. Okay, that's fine. No, 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 no. Okay, I give him that. Now, I will bring Omega Sharon when he's available because even if Kaioken Goku is really strong, it's not that strong to defeat uh, Omega Sharon with one combo. Yeah. Let's bait him with this green card. No, he moved away. But, yeah. It is what it is. And with his special attack, this fight is over. Now, I didn't have the chance to see Vados in action. I still don't know uh, how strong how strong uh, is she. But I hope to test her soon. Nevertheless, Shadow Dragons performed pretty well. And, uh, yeah, so far the results are pretty good. Alright guys, this was the Shadow Dragon team test, and it was fun, it was entertaining, and I, I enjoyed playing with them. Now, these guys are not meta-breaking for sure, but yeah, this doesn't mean that you can have fun with them, and also, yeah, win some battles, because the, the damage and also the sustained damage cut buff are really helpful in PvP. Okay, that was it, until next time, this is Arch Fury, and I hope to see you soon. Take care, bye!